Okay, li listen, listen. Stop trying to make that a thing, Brenda. Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Kyra Sean. So today's video is brought to you by Sunbird Hair. They were kind of sending me another unit to review for you guys. Now, before we get into this install, I want you guys to reference the timestamps down below. Even though I will show you guys the entire install of this unit from start to finish, I will be focusing on certain parts after the install to make sure you guys understand why it is important to do certain things to your wigs to make it look as natural as possible. And y'all know that I know that we love a natural looking install, okay? So if you wanna see how I got this unit from A to slay, make sure you stay tuned for that. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. Also give this video a thumbs up if you wanna see more videos like this in the future. Let's go. Yeah. 
bother or wait, no, I don't wanna play no games. I just wanna call, see if we're okay, babe. All I wanna ask you is, I don't wanna push you farther away, no, I don't wanna play no games. I just wanna call, see if we're okay, babe. All I wanna ask you is. So like I said, this unit comes to us from Sunbird Hair. All the specs for this unit are right here on the screen. So if you want to check it out for yourself, you definitely can. As y'all saw in my install, I did have to do some work to this unit to get it to my liking, especially when it came to the hairline. This hairline wasn't really given natural in my opinion. It wasn't giving me pre-plucked. So I had to go in and pluck it up for my sake. Now, normally I do use my thin tweezers. However, I found these really cute short ones from Five Below and I figured I would go ahead and try them out. And y'all, when I say easy, those tweezers made my job a lot easier and and quicker because I didn't want to sit here and tweeze up a hairline for hours. The tweezing of the hairline took me about 15 minutes. I did pluck out a lot of hair because the hairline was really thick for my taste. However, if you don't want to pluck anything, you can definitely still style this unit out the pack with no plucking. You do you, boo. Now, I did install my unit just like all the other wigs. However, I do want to pinpoint certain things with my install because a lot of you guys do have questions as far as, you know, how to do certain things. One of our wig bays, Danny, did ask about how to cut the ear tabs off your unit. Now, even though I have showed you guys how I do that multiple times in my installs, since it is sped up, it does go by pretty fast. So I wanted to show you guys in real time how that looks when I cut the ear tabs off. So as you can see right here, I normally look for my ear under the lace. You can normally see it anyway. So I just look for that outline of my ear and all I'm doing is cutting that lace off around my ear. Whether I'm going from the front or the back, the cutting motion is still the same. I'm still gonna just follow my ear all the way around. Now that I've done it so much, I am a lot more comfortable. However, if you are not comfortable with cutting the unit on your head, you can definitely take the unit off, flip it inside out, and then put it on your head and then try Trace the outline of your ear on the inside of your lace with like a white pencil, so like a white eyeliner pencil or a black eyeliner pencil. And then when you take it off, you can just cut the lace off just like that. So whether you're cutting your unit on your head or off your head, whether you're a beginner or an expert, take your time each time to make sure you don't injure yourself or damage your lace. Now when it came to the hairline, I'm gonna tell you right now, my knots are big because y'all know I don't bleach nothing. I don't bleach nothing but my whites, okay? So I wasn't gonna go in and bleach this unit. I just used my same pressed powder foundation and contour situation to get my hairline together and that was it. And just so you know, I'm cool with that, okay? So you don't gotta tell me, oh, I can see your knots. Sis, it's not my hair, okay? <laughs> <laughs> now when it comes to my installs, y'all know I like using my got to be free spray. I spray it on, dry it down, and I go. Okay, nothing crazy. I don't gotta deal with a whole bunch of products. But with that spray, it does cake up into your hair and cause it to look like shiny and sticky and just look like it's kind of like stiff. I used to wear my wigs like that all the time and looking back on that, I'm embarrassed, okay? <laughs> what I do now to make sure all my hairs are kind of you know, free flowing and make sure you don't have no excess product in your hairline, y'all saw that I went in and back comb through the hairline. When I say back comb, that could mean, you know, combing back this way, down this way, to the side. That's what I mean by back comb. I don't really know what it's called. I just say back comb because, you know, it makes sense to me. This is what also gives me that natural hairline look with no baby hairs. Because I do get comments like, oh, thank you for not doing baby hairs. I can tell it's a wig with that. Sis, the knots can tell you it's a wig. <laughs> Okay, l listen, listen. Stop trying to make that a thing, Brenda. Baby hairs do not equal wig, okay? But it does help hide the lace on some wigs, especially if your lace is not up to par with seamless, okay? This lace on this unit did take my products really well. I do feel like it blended down really well. It's just the knots on this unit are really big. So there are a lot of great tutorials on YouTube right now to show you how to bleach your knots. I just... I'm just not there, okay? I'm just not someone to bleach the knots. I'm just not, I'm not gonna do it, okay? So even though you may not learn that technique from me, you will learn everything else. It did come pre-curled, so you can definitely rock it like that. You just gotta go in, you know, kind of finesse them a little bit. But I knew I was gonna wrap the hair to give it this look, so I went on and washed my unit because, you know, it did come with a slight chemical smell. And then I went in and, you know, did my little razzle-dazzle. My styling that I did definitely gave the hair a lot more movement and body, and I'm actually here for it. I could go in and cut some layers right here in the front. I don't think I'm gonna do that just because, again, I don't feel like it. I mean, I just want to rock the unit how it is. So rock it. <laughs> 
Now this unit is a mix between Big Head Associate and Big Head Friendly. If it's Big Head Friendly around the cap, however, I say Big Head Associate because it does not come all the way down onto my ear tabs. So with that, you saw that I did pull out my hair on the side before I sprayed her down, and then I just pushed my hair back over that to kind of blend that in to make it look more seamless for my hairline. If you have the edges to spare, I would definitely suggest doing this technique if the size of your wig stops a little short. Other than that, I feel like... I feel like we look good. Let me put my glasses on real quick so I can make sure y'all not clocking me on my lace. She not bad, she not bad. Normally when I wrap my hair or my wigs, I do let it sit either overnight or at least an hour on my head. But with my little blow dryer helmet situation, I was able to rock it for about 10 minutes on high heat and just, you know, go ahead like that. Be careful though, that joint will burn your ears, okay? So I had to go ahead and push mine back a little bit. Make sure I wasn't gonna burn the skin off my lobes, but you know, I'm good now, okay? But that's all I got for you guys today. Shout out one more time to Sunburn Hair for sending me this unit, I really appreciate it. I will put the direct link in my specs down below so you guys want to check it out, you can. If I have a coupon for this unit, I will also list it down below so you guys can save some money on your order. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Also smash the notification bell so you don't miss anything else coming up. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye.